So Annette, give us an update on Cyclone Freddy. Freddy has come a long way. Earlier this month, the storm actually started to strengthen here, just northwest of Australia, and they gave the storm the name Freddy as soon as it strengthened into a tropical storm. Freddy has traveled more than 9,000 kilometers across the Indian Ocean, strengthened into a Category 5 storm, and then slammed the coast of Madagascar on the 21st of Feb as a Category 3 storm, and is currently moving over the southern coast of Mozambique. Why has the forecast changed so drastically over the past three days? So we need to keep in mind that cyclones tend to be steered by larger atmospheric systems like troughs, ridges, highs and lows. And the intensity of cyclones are influenced by things like the sea surface temperature, the warmer the sea, the more energy, the stronger the storm, and also the variation in wind with heights, which is known as wind shear. And these ingredients are very difficult to forecast. So therefore, predicting the behavior of an even smaller, more volatile system like a cyclone is even twice as difficult. Annette, what is actually the difference between a tropical storm and a cyclone? So as soon as a tropical system displays a rotating circulation a pattern and the sustained wind speeds close to the eye is more than 63 kilometers per hour, it's a moderate tropical storm and it will be given a name. And then if the wind speed increases to more than 118 kilometers per hour, it will be upgraded to a tropical cyclone. Last question, will Freddy still significantly impact northeastern South Africa? So Freddy has just made landfall over the southern coast of Mozambique as a severe tropical storm with wind speeds of about 120 kilometers near the eye. But Freddy is quickly weakening into a tropical depression as it moves over the rugged surface. This weekend, the low pressure system or what's left of Freddy will actually remain quasi stationary here over the bordering areas of South Africa, Zimbabwe and Mozambique. But thankfully, Freddy is much weaker than previously anticipated and has taken a turn for the better. Rainfall amount showing most of the heavy rain expected here over the southern areas of Mozambique and Zimbabwe. Back home in South Africa, we are definitely going to see some rain this weekend but nothing in comparison to what was shown earlier this week thankfully it's only the extreme northern areas of the kruger national park here over the bordering parts of south africa which might see some heavy rain the rainfall amounts more than 300 in zimbabwe and mozambique but here in south africa only a few showers likely expected in limpopo and Pumalanga. nothing out of the ordinary but we know those areas are extremely vulnerable due to the extreme rainfall a few weeks ago so please still be on the lookout for any weather warnings issued by the south african weather service